that's um, just a little bit of Exchange 2010. What we do is we go for an installation of 2010, and you can see how exciting that is. And as I always say, if you install Windsor, you're, you're very, very uh, familiar with the installation screens. But let's just talk about combining roles. Um, what, what type of spec do you need? You, ca you can't come up with a minimum spec for Exchange, really. This is taken from Microsoft. They're saying processor cores minimum, recommended A to maximum 16. Uh, memory 4 gig plus 2 to 6 megabytes per mailbox. But it does depend very much on what these users are doing. I mean, if you're in, you know, um, perhaps a marketing department, you might send loads of large documents out, yeah. PDF documents, etc. So, you know, everyone's different, and you've got to take, you know, do some performance analysis on that environment before you suggest. But that's what I'm going for. And there we go. So, any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Go on. Um, well, I just overheard some guys at work um, saying about how... Well, I'm actually fearing for the exchange consultant's job since you oh, said it's so easy. Yes. What's this about Microsoft saying, in tech ed, I believe, that it's gonna, they're going to charge every organization something minimal per mailbox, let's say, f 15 pounds, 15 dollars or something you know. crazy like that? and. For, for the organization to actually host their entire uh, messaging kind of estate with them at the cloud, in the cloud. Yeah, so it's, it's a scary one. That's certainly what lots of people are talking about. Yeah. You know, looking at all this cloud computing, where is it going? And the fact that Microsoft have got football fields full of servers and you know, where, where's it all going to start? Exchange 2010, I think this is the, the first thing that could be really, really heavily cloud-based because I, when I... When I first thought about cloud computing, I thought, no, it's never going to work. But for mail systems, which is so line of business, and there are a little bit of hassle to maintain. And a lot of the time when we're supporting, it's to support with a problem with a mail system or the mail's gone down or, or something like that. And now Microsoft are giving the opportunity to just outsource it and let them host yeah. it, you know, all of that. And I don't know where that's going to go. I really don't. The interesting with with Exchange 2010, what you'll notice is the console has is divided into two sections. You've got Exchange off premises and Exchange on premises yeah. as well, mm -hmm. and you will be able to move mailboxes at that easily between your production Exchange system and the one in the cloud. Yeah. So you don't have to migrate fully to the cloud, but you, oh, you, you can, can do half do half. Both. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know what to think about the cloud really. Everyone's chatting about it, just yeah, like everyone's it'd be interesting because I'm kind of thinking. All you guys are going to be out of a job, you know. Well, the exchange guys. Yeah, the exchange guys. <laughs> I, I, I can see email as the first thing to go. It, it, to me, email seems like the one to go. I can't see shared files and SharePoint. There's too much going backwards and forwards in that. But my understanding of email, and of course this doesn't fit every organisation, is it's, it doesn't need that speedy connection, does it? And with Outlook, you've got cash mode and all yeah. this. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, the cloud. It's going to happen. We've been running Outlook from the cloud as well. Anyway, that's my email system. So, yeah, this Exchange 2010 install. Click on next. I'm not doing this. Huh? I don't know if I can. So all I've done is I've gone to... This is just a, a virtual machine. Can't. There's a, a couple of prerequisites. You should be able to. Yeah. Can you not ask for take control? Uh, request control, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just a few prerequisites to save time. I just added IS to it and .net, .net framework 3.5. So I click on next and again. Accept. Accept. Do I have to read it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> next. And the other nice thing about Exchange 2010 is with, with 2007, um, don't, don't bother error reporting, okay. with 2007, if you wanted a high availability solution like you wanted to do CC on your mailbox, is that something you would have to design for? Right. Whereas with this one, we could start off with a single server, which we are, and, and they we just could, add, and we could say, out. yeah, let's replicate that database out. Okay. So we will go for a custom one just to see if that's any difference, and we will change the drive to drive D. Just because I'm a bit fussy. D. Yeah. Ooh, and I this annoys me, this one because I can't type. No, so you've got to click on browse, and then you lose the directory structure. Yeah. So if you go to D, I think there's already something on drive D. The scheme has been updated as well. That takes ages. Um, make a new yeah, folder? For make a new folder? folder, yeah. This is very boring for people to watch. 
or make new folders. Yep. And uh, make another one? No, that's fine. Really? Yeah. Oh, I see what you were doing. I was going to do that whole... Yeah, do it now. I can't, I've lost the path well, now. browse. No, but... As in, I've lost the yeah, you, original... you there, look. Just I look. know, but I said... Where well, it was before, that's why I was keeping it open. <laughs> what was it? Exchange. Exchange, 2010. We're good. Space or no space? I didn't put space in that. And then anything below that? No. Sure. I would have put release candidate. <laughs> <laughs> right, Which next, yeah? next on that, yeah. Is this RC or is this uh, release? Oh, it is actually the full release. Okay. About it. Yeah, so on, on this one, for a single server, we do need to be a mailbox. Obviously, we need to put the mailboxes somewhere. We need client access because they need to gain access to the mailbox. And we do need to have transport. And that's it. We don't use unified messaging. No? no. We should do a podcast on that. We could do, yeah. Yeah. You can tell those consultants where to shine. <laughs> next. But I think UM is a little bit tricky. It is. It yeah, is. next on that one. Um, name of the organisation, so IT Idiots Corporation, I think. Corporation. <laughs> IT Idiots, one word? Yeah. <laughs> Corporation. What? <laughs> Delusions of grandeur. Might happen. 160 tweet followers. Do you have any client computers running out uh, of 2003? Or entourage? Why is this? No. There must be incompatible features. Okay, what you've got is in previous versions of, of the exchange, you have public folders. Yeah. Now you've still got public folders. They, I think some people might say they tried to get rid of them in 2000, to, yeah. but it never really happened. But they're very much still here. S public folders were used to store things like the offline address book. And that's how the older outlet clients would try and find their offline address book is by accessing that public folder. There's no other ways of doing that, and that's the EWS, the web services, which again, you know more about than I did, I think. So, um, which does hurt me to say. So, if you do have older clients, it's basically going to create that public folder. We're going to say, no, we don't have those clients. Okay. If the client access server's internet face and you just need to give it a fully qualified domain name. So I say yes it is, yeah? It's not. Oh, it's not? No. So we can only send emails internally? Um, at the moment, yeah. Okay. That's for the client access. This is for people with web access outside. So don't care about those at the moment. Okay, next, next yeah? yeah. Ooh, that's the most important part. <laughs> uh, I do not wish to join. And it takes a little while to check the prerequisites. Oh, right. It's doing something. And people say, well, he wasn't, he didn't have a suite last time. <laughs> yeah, Isn't where did this cherry <laughs> drop come from? There's a pure continuity error there. <laughs> we should rearrange all this. Uh, warning. What does that mean? All it means is you, it's preparing the, the schema for 2010, so it won't be able to put the support 2007 anymore. And that's because that's this is the first time, yeah? Mm -hmm. If we do this on another server later, it won't, it won't do mm. this. Okay. Right, ready? Oh, me, me, me. Install. Okay, should I click on finish? With cherry breath, yeah. Well, hang on. <laughs> hang on then. So, yeah, it all looks like it works. So, what we really should do to, to sort of earn our money, well, this is what they do, right? Is um, we've got some exchange setup logs. So, ours went absolutely fine. And um, I just laid up a log and quickly speed.